Then, Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for who you are. And we ask and we pray, oh God, as we join together as one, and we're praying against hate, praying against discrimination in this nation, praying against hate and discrimination for things, Lord, we may have done, Lord, making those, those comments, making those sly remarks against someone of a different race, uh, of a different color, making them the butt of, of jokes. Lord, if, if, if we have done that, you forgive us first, oh God. It's got to start with us first. So we thank you in advance what you're doing. We thank you in advance for what you're going to do. And we won't fail to give you the praise, all the honor and all the glory due to your righteous and your holy name. For Christ's sake, I pray. Amen and amen. Pastor Minnie, God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to your name. Father, we bless you this morning. Amen. Your children all come boldly to your throne this morning. Amen. We thank you for another opportunity to come and confess for, re for reconciliation, for love, for peace, for joy, for healing, for revival. We thank you this morning. We bless you, O oh God, in obedience to your word. You telling us praying always with all prayers and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. We know we cannot pray unless you pray through us. You know we, we don't know how to pray unless the Holy Spirit pray. We submit to you this morning. All of us submit to your spirit. We submit and subject to hear your voice. Father, who calls to heaven this morning? Let us to pray on that open heaven. Prayer that you can hear. You also ask us to worship and come with thanksgiving and come in worship. You only accept a worship that is done in truth and in the spirit. We pray that we will pray in truth and we will pray in the spirit. Your word declare to us, how can we say we love God? I hate our brothers. I hate our members. I mm -hmm. hate our sisters. I hate our cousins, our our sisters, our uncle, our, our Lord. How can we say we love you? We cry out this morning for forgiveness, oh God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray that you will touch us and show us, Holy Spirit. Reveal what is in us to us this morning? Reveal the type of hatred that is in us. Reveal it right from the barrel, right from our womb. Reveal it and let it come to surface. That we can cough it out. That we can confess and be free. Stronghold of hatred. Stronghold of holding on to the past. Stronghold of holding on to our past experience that are not pleasant. We pray this morning, we lose, we lose love, we lose forgiveness, we lose all harmony in the name of Jesus. Father, let there be unity in the body of Christ. Or as we waste in time, give us spirit of unity. The same unity, Jesus, you have with your Father. Father, we can only love because we surrender ourselves to you. I decided to follow you and your precept. Father, you tell us to love one another. For love comes from you. Your very essence is love. You told us to love. Oh, we want to be like you. We want to love like you. We want to walk and talk like you. Father, we thank you. You told us whatever does not love. Whoever does not love, don't know you. Oh, don't know you. Don't know you. That's why you said it that day. People will say, I did this in your name. I organized prayer in your name. I healed the sick and raised the dead in your name. And you will look at us and say, I never knew you. Oh, Father God. Recognize us by the love we have for each other. Recognize us by the love we have for each other. You said by this, may we know that we, that we belong to you. Father, forgive us this morning the hatred we even have in the body of Christ, the hatred we have in the altar, when we are preaching your word, when we are teaching your word. For, for, forgive us, Holy Spirit. Cleanse us, Holy Spirit. Every hindrance to prayer, every obstacle to prayer, I bind you this morning. I put my head on your neck. You dragon, you spirit of antichrist, I bind you in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray this morning, you told the word, whoever does not love, 
Whoever that hates have no part of your kingdom. Father, we thank you. We give you glory. Creating us a pure heart. Creating us a pure heart. You are a challenging us this morning. You gave us opportunity again this morning. We, we are talking to you. We are not talking to man. We are praying to you in the name of Jesus. Anyone that say, I love God, yet hate. You said he is a liar. Yes, you said he's a liar. You challenge us again, and you give us a question. And this question, will we respond to it now or in eternity? Help us to love our sister. Forgive us for all the unlove we show, for everything we exhibit as a church. We also bring the nation before you. We are the example. We are the example for our neighbor. We are the example for our brethren. We are the example for our children. We are the example for the next generation. Oh, Father God, help us to love the way you love. Help us love each other. How we bring our nation before you. All the hatred that is going on on the streets. All the hatred that is going on in the governmental homes. All the hatred that is going on in the White House. All the hatred that is going on in the state and in the city. We cry out for forgiveness. Oh, hear our cry. Be gracious unto us. Come, great deliver. As you deliver, we will be delivered. Send a revival. Send a deliverance, oh God. Send a deliverance this morning. Send a deliverance. We ask you to forgive us as an individual. We ask you to forgive us as a nation. We ask you to bring reconciliation to the White House between the, 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 the Democrats and the Republicans. Let there be love among the gatherers in the White House, in the State House. Oh God, send healing, oh God. Father, do not destroy us like Sodom and Gomorrah. Have mercy upon us. We are crying out for mercy. We are crying out for mercy. We are crying out for mercy. Holy Spirit, help us to remain in you. Help us to strive to obey you. Let us to strive to obey you, O God. Help us to be a, a, be separated from the world. Take, take us out in the world and put us in your, in your environment. Put us in your environment. Let us ride the train you are riding. Let us not ride half train and half right world. Help us to follow your precept so that when you come, we will be set free. Father, we thank you. We give you glory because you are a God that heals. Oh God, Father, arise this morning. Arise and demolish the things that hold us hostage. Arise, demolish the things that hold us to be hatred. Arise and demolish the things that make us an accuser uh, of the brethren. Remove accusation from our heart. Remove ac accusation from our lips. Because when you come, the king of accuser will be cast into the pit of hell. May the, may the police that was working for the enemy not no, be redeemed this morning. Be redeemed not to be an accuser. Not to be mailing letter for the devil. To be a police for your kingdom. To be a rescuer. To be a rescuer. A reconciliator. In the name of Jesus. We thank you, O oh God. O oh God, arise. Arise this morning. Arise and fight for your children. We are weak. We are out of order. Put us in order. That we might be able to walk as a bride. As a bride, as the bridegroom is about to descend. Forgive us this morning. Cleanse us this morning. Father, let us not be the same after this fast. Let us not be the same way. The same way we do business. The same way we pray. The same way we relate to each other. Let there be a change. Struggle. Lose your children that belong to the Lord. Lose us, oh God. Oh, Father God. Give us your fear, because fear is the beginning of wisdom. We thank you this morning. We honor you. Father, we thank you this morning. God, we thank you for opportunity to come in your presence this morning and give your name glory. We thank you, O oh God, that you're a merciful God. Hallelujah. We thank you, O oh Holy Spirit, that you will remove all things, O oh God, as we pray for hate against our brethren and discrimination, O oh God. God, I ask you to forgive those, O oh God, who is hating on their brothers, O oh God, hating on their sisters, O oh God. Forgive those, O oh God, who inspires hate in the communities, O oh God. Hallelujah. Forgive those, O oh God, O oh God, who stir up hate, O oh God, for no reason at all, O oh God. Hallelujah. For forgive those in government, O oh God. Hallelujah. 
who make a decision, oh God, just to hate, oh God, to spread hate monger amongst us, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, I ask you, oh God, for your mercy to continue, oh God. Hallelujah. Your word says, Father God, in Proverbs 10 and 12, hatred stirs up strife, but love covereth all sins, O oh God. Hallelujah. God, hatred is not of you. It's not the spirit of you, O oh God. It's the spirit of the evil one, O oh God. So God, I ask you to remove it from amongst your people, O oh God. Even in your church homes, O oh God, remove hatred out of there, O oh God. Holy Spirit, do a new operation amongst us, O oh God. Hallelujah, God. Touch and heal to, O oh God, just like you, only you can, O oh God. Only you have a touch of healing, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you, O oh God, hallelujah, that you're going to do it. You've got to do it for your children, oh God. You've got to take it away from your children, oh God. Love conquers all, oh God. God, install love, oh God. Take the hate out of our hearts, oh God. Hallelujah. Love covers all, oh God. I pray for those, oh God, with the street violence, oh God, that make a decision, oh God, just to shoot a young child down or to shoot another individual down and have no reason just because they hate, oh God. Hallelujah. God, take away the hate from your children. It's not of you, O oh God. It serves no good purpose, O oh God, amongst your people, O oh God. It serves no good purpose, O oh God, amongst anyone, O oh God. Saved or unsaved, O oh God. Hallelujah. It's just another distraction of the enemy, O oh God. And we bind it up in the name of Jesus. We come against it. We cancel out this morning in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God's children, we get the victory over all this hate, O oh God. We shall overcome hate, O oh God. We shall spread love amongst our brethren, O oh God. Even in the house of God, O oh God. Let there be love, O oh God. Love, 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 O oh God. In the name of Jesus. Conquer everything, O oh God, with your love. Because you're a God of love. A God of peace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Father, give your children a mind of perfect peace. Hallelujah. Keep us in perfect peace. Forgive us, O oh God. The born again ones, O oh God, that install hate in their heart, O oh God. Hallelujah. Forgive us, O oh God. Forgive your children. Forgive your churches, O oh God. Forgive us for not spreading more love, O oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Father, I pray this prayer with an expectancy that it shall be done. It shall be sealed by you, Father God. In the name of Jesus, I pray this morning. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. First John 2.11 tells us that whoever hates his brother is in darkness and walks in darkness and does not know where he's going because the darkness has blinded his eyes. Lord, we come before you praying against hatred and discrimination, which causes men to mistreat others and not seek restoration for their ill treatment. Hallelujah. Father God, hate is not of you. Man cannot profess to love you, but hate their brother. We pray for the release from the enemy, for those that are professing and demonstrating hatred, racism, Amen. and social injustice towards one another. We pray, our Father God, that these individuals will come first to accept and love Jesus Christ. Then they will learn to love themselves. Fill them with your love so that their love will overflow. 55 years ago, Lord, we sang the song, What the World Needs Now is Love, Sweet Love. Yes, Lord, mankind needs love so that we can exit out of darkness into the marvelous night. Mankind needs to humble themselves and stop thinking more highly of themselves as they are. Man needs to know that you love us so much that you sent your beloved son to this world to save us from our sins. Mankind needs to hear that you love each and every one of your children. As children, we sang the song, Jesus loved the children of the world. Red, brown, yellow, black, and white, they're all precious Amen. in your sight. 
We beseech you, Father God, that those that are filled with hatred and discrimination will be free from the bondage of hatred. We pray, Lord God, that they will hear a word from heaven that will turn them from their wicked ways. We pray that their vision will be clear, that they will see beauty and blessings mm -hmm. of each Amen. person that you have placed on this earth. We pray, God, that men, women, boys, and girls need not fear the police or other people because of the color of their skin. We pray that no one will live in fear inside their homes or when they walk the street because of the color of their skin. We pray that people will stop killing each other because they look different. We pray, our Father God, for forgiveness of this nation, for not restoring relationships to people and groups that they mistreated. Please, Lord, bring us to an understanding that we are all one. We all have red blood running through our veins, the blood of Jesus in red, and cleanses of hatred and sin. Mm. Let people be mindful that we are all one people. We are mm. one in the Spirit, we are one in the Lord, and we pray mm. that our unity will one day be restored mm. and, that we will, and that they will know that we are Christians by our love. Mm. Pray, Father God, that love will abound across the land and mm. haters will be brought out of darkness. Mm. We pray that love will fill the hearts of each and every living being across the land. Mm. We ask this prayer in the mighty matchless name of our blessed Son, Jesus, of your blessed Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Your name this morning. Take us through this prayer. Father, save you like our shepherd. We need you. Thou bought us, thine we are. Thou have brought us, then we are. Early let us turn to thee. Early let us turn from my evil way. Early let us turn from my evil way. Thou hast loved us, love us still. As you love us, may we love those that we don't like. May we love those that hate us. May we love our enemy. May we pray for those that despisefully use us. Lord, we thank you. Help us to live like you. Father, remove hate among us. Remove hatred. Oh God, in Jesus' name, amen. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this time that you have given us. Lord, thank you for giving us the opportunity before time passes into eternity to come with this prayer request. Lord, we're asking and we're praying that you will forgive. Forgive first, Lord, again, us. Forgive this nation. Forgive each and every person that has hid, O oh Lord God, discrimination and hate in their heart. Lord, you said to your servant David, he said that, Lord, I'm going to hide the word in my heart so I shall not sin against you. But Lord, unfortunately, so many people have hid hate and discrimination in their heart. So they're sinning all the time, sinning against you, sinning against their brother and sister. Lord, we know what has happened in this country. We know what has happened in this nation, oh Lord God. The way that this country was built for the, the sacrifice, Lord, that slaves and immigrants have created, Lord, and things that they have done, Lord, they were hated. They were discriminated against. But yet, Lord, they said they loved us. Give, O oh Lord God, the hate and discrimination for those that have used the word of God to control individuals, Lord. They would tell the slaves, yes, the Bible says that you are to love the master. But Lord, they left so many other things out. So forgive, O oh God, this country. Forgive this nation. Forgive us, Lord, for the hate and discrimination that we have hid in our hearts where we should be hiding the word of God. If we hide the word of God in our hearts, oh Lord God, that just simply means that it's in a place of security. Where your heart is, that's where your treasure is going to be. So Lord, if we are hiding hate and discrimination in our hearts, that's the treasure. That's the treasure that people have, oh God, and that treasure is going to be open. Oh God, forgive us, and it's just going to be a plague. It's just going to be a virus. It's just going to be, oh God, so much evil when we hide hate and discrimination in our hearts. So forgive us, oh Lord God. Forgive 
the, the city, forgive the state, forgive the country, O oh God, for the things that they have done to oppress with hate and discrimination. But Lord, again, it starts with us. It starts with us, O oh God. Let us not hold anything. We set the example, O oh Lord God. But God, you know it's hard. You know it's tough, O oh God, when we're being discriminated against and we're being um, hated against, O oh God. It's, it, it's hard, Lord. We need your Holy Spirit. We need your guidance, O oh God. And to be able to love those who are despitefully hating us, despitefully using us, O oh God. We can't do this. This is not a natural aspect, O oh God. It's got to come from you. So Holy Spirit, help us, O oh Lord God. But at the same time, open up the eyes, O oh Lord, of this country. Open up the eyes of this nation, O oh God. There is such, such disparity, Lord. Even though many times they've said in the state and the White House that, yes, things are going to get better. Lord, how long? Lord, when? Lord, help us to do what we need to do. Bless us, O oh Lord God, in return that we can be a blessing to someone else, Lord. Help us to reach out our hand, Lord. Help us to reach out our hearts, O oh God. We can't do it by ourselves, Lord. This is affecting our children. It's affecting our children's children, O oh God. This cycle, Lord, this cycle, this cycle, this vicious cycle of hate and discrimination, Lord. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Only you can break the mind. Only you can break the hearts of individuals, oh Lord God. We don't want to see any more black men, people of color, shot, killed because of hate and discrimination, Lord. Oh, God, we can. We can, Lord. Give us what we stand in need of. But open up the eyes and forgive, Lord. And we bless you. And we love you. And we thank you because we know you're still in control. Bless us, oh, Lord God. We ask this in your precious name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God Almighty. Good morning. Praise the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus. We come to you this day, we glorify your name, we give you praise, we give you honor, we give you thanks this day. Father God, we ask you for forgiveness, Lord, for the discrimination and hate among us, O oh God. Hate in this country, hate in the nation, discrimination in the world, O oh God. We ask you, O oh God, in this country, O oh God, to clear our minds and our hearts. We ask you, O oh God, Father, to stop Help us from stop looking at each other, stop looking down at each other, so our brown brothers and sisters. For oh God, you said, well, your word said that you made, you created man in his own, in your own image and likeness. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, in him you created him, male and female. In the name of Jesus, God, help us, oh God, to remember and to keep love and peace in our hearts. Keep the, get the hates out of our hearts, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Not, not only by the color of our skin, Lord, but by our positions, our position, we look at each other according to our positions, whether the salary we make or where we live or the clothes we wear or what, what schools our children go to. Lord, help us to get that, get that slave mentality out of our minds, oh God. Stop looking down on each other. Help us, oh God, Father, oh God, to preserve each other and to care for each other. Help us, oh God, not to side, we're not to pretend to be to be well with each other, Lord, in the name of Jesus. When in our hearts we deceive each other, God, in the name of Jesus. Help us to have a loving heart and an open mind towards each other and caring for each other daily, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Help us how to these things we say to each other, how we disrespect each other, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Help us to guide our minds, our thoughts, our mouths against each other, things we speak, oh God, against each other, in the name of Jesus. Help us not be partakers with those, Lord, who do evil things against our children, Lord, to watch our children and guide our children in the way they should, the way they should go, God, in the name of Jesus. Help us, O oh Lord, and forgive us, O oh Lord, for all the injustices that have been against us, Lord, in the name of Jesus, and not, not repeat it against our own, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Help us, Lord, to forgive 
those who complete against us, O oh God. Help us, Lord, and give us strength to unite together and be as one and bond, oh God, and love and caring for each other in all things that we do, okay, and reach out our hand to each other, praying for each other, guiding each other, open our hearts and our minds, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We ask you, oh God, to let us be one as you made us, Lord, and to keep one blood in the family, especially in the family, Lord, and our children, to show our children the way that we should live, oh God, in the name of Jesus. So, Father, we thank you. We ask you forgiveness. And we ask you, Lord, to continue to bless us and guide us. Let your Holy Spirit lead us and guide us through this nation, Lord, so this nation could revive again. In Jesus' name, we ask you to give you praise and all the glory. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Of Jesus, we praise you and we give you glory, oh God. Lord, as I come to you, I ask you to wash me and cleanse me and me for your presence. Oh God. Douse me where you don't see Glenn, where you see the blood of Jesus, oh God. I know I cannot pray unless the Holy Spirit prays through me. So I'm asking, oh God, that you pray through me in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord God, for putting it in the hearts of your children to have this, seeking your face ourselves as a body of Christ, bringing down denominations, O oh God, and coming before you, O oh God, and praying and asking God, denying ourselves, because we need your hand to move, O oh God. And the call is to your people, O oh God. O oh God, I know it's rampant in the world. I know it's out of control in the world. But Lord, you speak to your people, oh God. You had 12 men turn the world upside down. You spoke to Israel that, oh God, their lives, them as a nation would change and show others, oh God, the blessedness of living and serving the true and living God. So you're speaking to us, Lord God, oh God. You're speaking to us, oh God, because, oh God, we've lost our focus, oh God. So you're saying, if my people, Lord, I pray, oh God, that you forgive us. Please forgive us, oh God, for not bringing peace where there is strife, Lord God. Oh God, so many things take us off focus. Even our small families, oh God. We can't live a day with messing up, oh God. Even on our jobs, we come out saying, we're going to look in your face. We're going to seek your face. We're going to search for you. And we let somebody go on our last nerve, oh God. So it's us, oh God. It's us, oh God, that you want to use to change the world. So Lord, we need you to change us. Oh, God, we need you every day. And it's a daily matter, oh, God. Lord, I can say all the flower things, oh, God, in my prayer. But change us, change us. Oh, God, change us. I cannot look, oh, God, so much as what others do to me, oh, God. But, Lord, you're looking at me of how we represent you. So I pray, oh God, that where there is no kindness, that, Lord, you've given us your spirit, Lord, and we're to produce the fruits of the spirit, Lord Jesus. If, oh God, the world sat in your face, but you did not lose your focus, oh God, for your focus was the cross, oh God, to pay for our sins. Have us not to lose our focus in the name of Jesus. There is, oh God, animosity, Lord Jesus. Have us, Lord, bring, oh God, peace, kindness, love, goodness, oh God. Just as, Lord God, it used to be said, count to ten. 
or count before you do something. Oh, calm yourself. Have us to say the fruits of the Spirit over and over. Have us to say scriptures that you've given us over and over to put ourselves in check, Lord God. Have us to remember your promises so that we shine as lights in this dark world. Lord, if we, oh God, the own our the old ones on our block or on our turf that are saved. If 12 can turn the world upside down, then we, you can turn a block. Oh God, to you, oh God, in the name of Jesus. So they'll see, oh God, I love, but they're looking at us. They're looking as they were looking at Jesus to make a move, a wrong, a wrong move. But we have you in our vessel, Lord Jesus. And oh God, have us to keep our focus on you, Lord, so we don't make no wrong moves. And what we do to confess it, oh God, to beg, oh God, ask someone to forgive us, Lord God, for you want to change this world through us because you are in us, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Yes. God, I pray, oh God, then you will bring peace in the land. Then, oh God, you will bring no discrimination among our neighbors because you are in us, oh God. And we have to say it over and over and over again, Lord God, so that your life, oh God, be magnified in us. Have us to do it. Because, Lord, we're not in a minority. We're in majority. Because you are king of kings and lord of lords. I pray, oh God, where there are things that seem to block us, Lord Jesus, I pray that you would move it so that you shine, Lord God. Wherever we are, whether we're in the White House, we're like, like, like Vice and Pence, whether we're on TV, if we're black, where they're, they're, they're protesting against Black Lives Matter, we, with you, can change the heart of people toward you. Because that's what's the matter first. That's what we're going to seek love. That's the God, whether we're cursed, whether we're not dead, whether we're stepped over, Lord God. For travel and blood, touch blood still saying, Oh God, you glorified, you be honored, oh God. Bring peace through us, bring love through us, bring kindness through us, bring goodness to us as we pray. Seek your face, turn from our wicked ways, then you will heal our land in Jesus' name. Amen. Bless your holy and righteous name. Our God and our Father, we approach your mercy seat one more time, O oh God, asking, O oh God, that you forgive us, O oh God, for discriminating against other races and people because of their ethnicity, nationality, and social status, O oh God. Forgive us, O oh God, as individuals, O oh God, and as a nation, O oh God. God, you are a loving and caring God. Oh God, you love every person, oh Lord, and it is made abundantly clear, oh God, in your word that discrimination isn't compatible with Christianity, oh God. In fact, discrimination in all forms, oh God, goes against your principles, oh God, of Lord. love and compassion. Lord, yes, Lord, you also made very clear in your word that we are made in your image, O oh God. Yes, Lord. Jesus himself, O oh God, preached about discrimination Jesus. and not judging others based on how they look or where they're from, O oh God. You tell us in your word, O oh God, in Deuteronomy 10, O oh God, verses 17 to 19, that we should love the strangers, O oh God, and that we should take advantage of defenseless people or we risk receiving your judgment, O oh God. Well, Lord, we've seen, oh God, as individuals and as a nation, oh God, we have fallen short, oh God. Have mercy, oh Father, Lord. Oh God, racism, oh God. 
colorism, oh God, xenophobia, oh God, oh God, they've all existed in this country, oh Father Lord. And as a result, we have policies, oh God, we have laws and actions, oh God, which discriminate against various groups, oh God, based on their race, oh God, and ethnicity, oh God, or skin color. Forgive us, oh God. Yes, Lord. We see, oh God, every day, Jeez. while one group, oh God, Jeez. enjoys, oh God, Jeez. privileges and rights, Jeez. oh God, whether it's in Jeez. education, Jeez. immigration, voting rights. Oh Lord, that these same privileges and rights, oh God, are denied to members oh of other races and groups, oh God. Have mercy, oh God. Lord, remind us, oh God, that discrimination, oh God, of every kind is wrong. And lead us, oh God, in reconciliation. Oh God, remind us that you see us all, oh God, not some of us, but all of us as precious, oh God, in yes, your sight. Lord. Yes, and Lord. Help us to lead, yes, oh God, that yes, truth. Lord. Lord, open our eyes, touch our hearts, oh God, and reveal our own prejudices so we can seek, oh God, your repentance, oh God. Guide us, oh God, as individuals, oh God. Guide us, oh God, as a nation, oh God, to act in ways that lead to true justice, oh Father Lord. Heavenly Father, forgive us, oh God, for losing sight of the truth Jesus. that you created all people in your image, oh God, Jews and Gentiles alike, oh God. Help us to see, oh God, discrimination as a tool, oh God, that the devil uses to keep us from experiencing and sharing your love and compassion, oh God. Help us to love, oh God, as you love us all. Teach us, oh God, to love the way you love, oh God, and to spread kindness and mercy as Jesus did, oh God. Lord, we're crying, oh God, for your help, oh God, this morning. In this season, oh God, we need your grace and your strength, oh God. Give us the wisdom, oh God, and help us, oh God, to ex extend, oh God, your love and care as you do, oh God, to every person, oh God. I ask all these things, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. And I thank you in advance, oh Amen. God, for what you're going to do. Amen. All praise and honor and glory to God the Father, Jehovah God Almighty, giver of life, maker of heaven and earth. You shut up the land and you sent a pandemic upon the earth. You said that your, if your people who were called by your name will humble themselves and pray and seek your face and turn from their wicked ways, then you will give you will forgive their sins and heal their land. Oh, Father, we come before you this morning and we ask that you hear our prayers. We are seeking you, God, in the name of Jesus. We ask for forgiveness for our sins and the sins of the forefathers of this country. This country was built on lies, built on false pretenses. Forgive the people for accepting the lies and celebrating and honoring the deceit, not pursuing your truth. Your word says, making a fortune through a lying tongue is a vanishing mist, a pursuit to death. Lord, we pray that you will forgive, forgive us and heal our land. Release us from the sins of the past. Give us a new beginning. Help us to break free from the lies that built this country. A country that was built on the backs of slaves. Our people were manipulated and taken advantage of, abused, ridiculed, hated, looked down on, torn apart from generation to generation. We pray for deliverance from the spirit of all hatred in our country, from one to another, due to the differences of skin color, gender, sex, level of education, financial status, nationality, age, disability. Father, we pray against the spirit of discrimination. Soften the hearts 
of the heads of the government toward our people. Jesus washed the feet of his disciples. Father, teach our leaders to be so humble. Hold those accountable who are responsible for the lie that encourages white supremacy and entitlement. Stop the hatred and humble in, in the abundance standard in our society, the double standard in our society. In our society, take the knees off of our necks. Renew the hearts and minds of these people to trust and rely on you, God, not a, gener not a government that prospers in self-gratification, who prospers in lies and deceits. Show your people that you are God, the one, the only true God, faithful and true. Your word is life. Your word is truth. Your word is you are love, God. Pray, raise us up, Lord, from the bondage, the hate, and the discrimination that thrives in our midst. Lord God, we are seeking you for freedom from police brutality. We hate not the man, but the spirit that dwells within. Cover and protect our young people. Amen. We pray for the court of this land that the lies and injustice against our people will no longer be tolerated, that the laws will be equal for all people. Discrimination and hatred have no place in our society. Jesus died for all mankind. Lord, we pray that this pandemic will cause people to open their eyes to the truth that lies in our government and look for you for the real truth. Jesus is the only way. You sent your son Jesus that we may have life and have it more abundantly. Amen. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus that you prevent hatred and discrimination in the public health care, especially during this, pandem this pandemic. Let there be no denial of health care violations of civil rights or physical violence. Help the people to come together as one people. Your word says, if you have faith like a grain of a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there and it will be moved. Nothing will be impossible for you. We ask, with the faith of a thousand mustard seeds, did you hear our prayer and grant our supplications? In Jesus' name we pray, amen. And our Heavenly Father, Lord God, we come before you this morning because you are God, you are King, you're the ruler of the earth, Lord God. You control everything, Lord God. And Lord, you've instructed us, instructed us in your word, Lord God, to train up a child in the way he should go. And when he's old, he will not depart. Lord God, as a nation, we've failed. And for this, we are sorry. Lord God, we remove prayer from schools, Lord God, and reduce our children to depend on things of this world, Lord God. As a nation, we've failed. And for this, we are sorry. Lord God, we glorify the use of the internet for the wrong things, Lord God, social media, Lord God, to indoctrinate our children, children, Lord God, with unhealthy things, Lord God. As a nation, we've failed, and for this we are sorry. Lord God, we allow the TV to raise our child, our children, Lord God. We allow the music, Lord God, to lead our children, Lord God. As a nation, we've failed, and for this we are sorry. Lord God, we stop having family devotion, Lord God. We stop praying together at the dinner table, Lord God. 
we stop doing things, reading the Bible together as a family, Lord God. As a nation, we have failed, and for this we are sorry. Lord God, we've reduced raising our children to just providing clothes, food, and shelter. Lord God, as a nation, we've failed, and for this we are sorry. Lord God, so as we ask for your forgiveness this morning, Lord God, I pray that you would just heal and restore and redirect our minds, Lord God, to raising our children, Lord God, in the way that you want us to raise and Lord God. Lord God, help us to just depend on you, Lord God, as a nation, Lord God. Lord God, we've preached it, we've said it, Lord God, but Lord God, for some reason, Lord God, we're on the wrong path. Lord God, we depend on you, Lord God, to just execute your plan of restoration, Lord God, in this nation, Lord God. Help us, Lord God, to depend on you and only you, Lord God, to bring our children up, Lord God. Help us, Lord God, to just wait on you, Lord God, to direct us, Lord God, as a nation. Lord God, we are failing, Lord God, and we just depend on you right now, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. to just help us, Lord God, direct us, forgive us, Lord God, and continue, Lord God, to be the God that you are. We do not know, Lord God, where we've gone wrong exactly, Lord God, but we know that you are God and you can make it right. So, Lord God, we place everything in your hands this morning, Lord God, and we wait upon you and tell you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We praise you, O oh God. We love you, Lord. We thank you for this day, O oh God. You are so good to us, O oh Lord, and we don't deserve it, O oh God. Forgive us of our sins, Lord. Anything we said or done that's not pleasing to you, O oh God. O oh God, forgive us. Forgive the nation, O oh God. Hallelujah. Forgive America, O oh God. Forgive, forgive the communities, O oh God. O oh God, forgive us, O oh God, of our shortcomings, O oh God. Father, forgive us for having wicked hearts. Hallelujah. Forgive us for suppressing uh, disturbing thoughts. Forgive us those thoughts of being proud, oh God, being foul-mouthed, violent, and godless, oh God. Hallelujah. Forgive us of our sin. Hallelujah. Forgive us, oh Lord, for, for pursuing lies, oh God, rather than the true God. Hallelujah. Forgive us, oh God, from suppressing the truths about God, merely to protect protect our own lifestyle. Hallelujah. Forgive us, oh God, for substituting the truth with a lie, oh God. Hallelujah. Forgive us, oh God, from stifling the truth that supports our own self-centeredness, our own self-centered lifestyle, oh God. Forgive us, oh God. Forgive us for our rebellion. Forgive the nations, oh God, for their sin, oh God. Forgive the nations for pursuing lies, oh God, in every level, oh God, from, from the government, the higher government, the Supreme Court, hallelujah, the judicial system, hallelujah, to the presidential, oh God, uh, executive, oh God, oh Lord, to the legislative, oh God, to the states, oh God, the governors, the cities, oh God to the communities, oh God, the community leaders, oh God, the whole nation, oh God, we bring before you right now, oh God, hallelujah. We need you to forgive us, oh Lord, hallelujah. Cleanse our hearts, hallelujah. Change their minds, hallelujah. Change their mindset, hallelujah. Let them come to you, oh God. Come boldly to your throne of grace, oh God. We ask, oh God, that you restore us, oh God. Hallelujah, restore the nation. Hallelujah. Restore communities. Hallelujah. Restore states and cities. Oh God. Hallelujah. You know what we're going through. Oh God. We need you right now. Oh God. We need you. Hallelujah. Remove the sin. Oh God. Hallelujah. Let all every single person. Oh God. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit touch lives right now. Now, oh God, touch the nation right now, hallelujah. Prick their hearts, oh God. Prick their hearts, Holy Spirit, that they come 
boldly to the throne of grace and ask for forgiveness, oh God. For our Father, we're asking, remove the sin. Restore the sinner, oh God, hallelujah, oh God. Let us not be proud, hallelujah. Oh God, let us be humble. Let us humble ourselves before you in the name of Jesus. Humble our hearts, oh God, hallelujah. Oh God. We thank you, Lord, for what you're going to do. Your word says a new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another as I have loved you, that you love one to another. This by all men shall know that you are my disciples if you love one to another. So we thank you, oh God, for what you're going to do. We thank you, Lord, that, that you forgive us, oh God, that you throw our sins into the sea of forgetfulness, oh God. We thank you that you're going to remove sin, oh God. We thank you for your the blood of Jesus Christ, oh God. We thank you for restoring the sinner, oh God. And we thank you that we're going to have a testimony of your goodness and your mercy and grace, a testimony of your forgiveness, a testimony of changed lives, a testimony of changed communities, a testimony of changed cities, a testimony, oh God, of a changed country and a changed nation. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Hallelujah. Father, we bless you one more time because your children, we have come together in corporate worship. Lord, thank you for the power that is in corporate prayers. Your children have cried unto you for forgiveness for various reasons. At this time, oh God, we come unto you crying unto you for forgiveness for our narcissism, oh God. Father, we are in justice, have been called justice, and justice has been considered just, oh God. When, Father Lord, when people are just, they say, oh, they are unjust. We see it in many ways in this great country. In this great country, we are, oh God, the forefathers counted you, oh God, as Lord, that they even put your name in their currency. And they said, in God we trust. But what do we see today, oh God, injustice all over the place. Father, how many people are in prison today because of what they did not do? Father, where is the fear of of God in this country, oh God, in this land, where our forefathers said, in God we trust. Our God, we cry unto you this day, please forgive us, oh God. Have mercy upon us, oh God. Father, if you consider our iniquities, oh God, even with this pandemic and many other things that happen, oh God, where shall we be? The Lord, together we rose up early in the morning. Father, we rose up crying unto you and asking you to have mercy. King of glory, start from the top to the bottom, oh God. According to your word in Psalm chapter 10, oh God, 4 to 5, he said, the wicked boasts around and say, where is God? Who is God? Coveting whom they can covet. The God this morning, it's not repetitive, but you already know our our heart. You hear our cry. Have mercy upon our country. Have mercy upon our nation. Have mercy upon fathers. Have mercy upon mothers and children. Have mercy upon our leadership. Forgive us, oh God, for not calling you God. Forgive us, oh God, for our narcissism. And you receive all the glory. We know without a shadow of a doubt that all these cryings we have done unto you for forgiveness, oh Lord, in these past few days will not be in vain. Thank you, Father, because you know what you said when we call, you will answer. We cry and we call. Hear us and forgive us, oh God, that we will put you in your place as the Lord of this land, as the Lord of our house, as the Lord of our house. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. We thank all of you that have come on to be a part of, of this prayer this morning. We ask and pray that you let some individual know God has heard these prayers and we know that they are going up to him as a sweet smelling savor into his nostrils. So we thank and we praise God for everyone. God bless you. I turn it back over to Dr. Paul. God bless you, uh, Pastor Ferguson and also the team from Mount Olivet Gospel Church. Tomorrow we will be joining again at 6 a.m., 6 a.m. as we continue in our prayer for forgiveness for various sins of our nation. Tomorrow we will be addressing the sin of mistreating the poor. We have mistreated the poor in our cities, in our nation at large. And uh, we invite you to join with us as we continue to humble ourselves before God and prayer and seek his face and turn from our wicked ways. And we are believing that the Lord 
we know he's faithful and we're believing that the Lord will heal our land. God bless you and have a precious day in Christ.